The Algonquin College Library provides many resources and services that support learning, teaching, and research. This video will explain some of these resources and how they can be useful to you and your students. The library goes beyond just books. Libraries have changed a lot, and we now have a lot of resources online. You can find them through our homepage at algonquincollege.com library. We'll do a quick tour of some of the library's resources so you know what's available to you. 1. OneSearch One of the first things you'll see when you come to the library website is OneSearch. This is our central search platform, which searches across most of our digital resource collections. This means that instead of having to go into dozens of individual resource collections and searching in each one, you can do one search here. You can find academic journals, books, videos, news, trade publications, reports, and more. These resources are useful for your students because the resources are credible and they are available to the AC community without having to pay any additional fees, as you often have to do if you just search Google. 2. Digital Resource Collections Another way you can search for resources is in individual digital resource collections. You can look at digital resource collections for specific subject areas and for specific types of resources, such as ebooks or videos. 3. Subject Guides Subject Guides are collections of recommended resources for different programs. They include library books, videos, and journals that are particularly useful for the program. They also include helpful resources from the web, such as trade publications and associations. Tip! Library staff are always happy to work with faculty to create these guides, so if there's a guide that you want to be created, or you want to add content to an existing guide, contact the library. We have also created subject guides on essential skills that are useful for all students, such as study skills, research, and career prep. These guides follow a different format than other subject guides, and most of the resources are created at Algonquin. For example, the Citing and Referencing Sources Guide includes a series of interactive modules on APA. These modules are widely recommended by faculty to help students with citing. There are also subject guides specifically for faculty, with information and resources that can help you. The Faculty and Staff Guide has a lot of information about the library, including the ways that we can help you in your classroom. You can book an orientation, tour, or in-class instruction using the online form. 4. Workshops We offer workshops for students to help them improve skills for class, such as how to find resources, write their paper, and cite their sources. We have a calendar of upcoming workshops here on the library homepage. Students can register for workshops from here. The workshops page has a description of all the different workshops. Tip: Most of our scheduled workshops are offered in the Library Learning Lab in C263. However, we can also provide workshops just for your class during class time. If you're interested in having a workshop for your class, you can book a facilitator using the online form. We'd also like to hear your suggestions for future workshop topics. 5. The Learning Portal This is a shared learning resource that we developed in conjunction with other departments at Algonquin and with colleges across Ontario. The portal covers areas such as study skills, research, writing, and digital citizenship. It includes tips, videos, activities, and more. This is a great place to direct your students for information that can help them succeed. There is also a faculty toolkit with information that can help you with your courses. The library staff are here to support you and your students, so please contact us with questions or if you want to work with us on something for your students. Email us at library at algonquincollege.com. You can find these resources and more on our website algonquincollege.com library.